Greetings automotive enthusiasts. Today we have for you a 1996 Lincoln Executive Town Car. But as you can see, this is no regular town car. This is a limo conversion. Uh, absolutely just such a cool car. Just turned 40,000 miles. The Brian Coach. So this is really cool. This is not a like a rental type of limo or something like that. This was one that was actually built for private uh, use. So kind of an executive limo here. We'll kind of take a walk around it a little bit. Uh, just turned 40,000 miles, no accidents or damage via Carfax. Um, just in really good condition. Uh, you know, it is a 96, so you know it's gonna have some wear and tear and scratches and stuff that I'll go over. But this thing is in really really cool condition uh it's got a lot of special features and a lot of cool stuff that uh we'll see you know when we get inside the car is even more fun but you can see from the outside uh that it's really nice clean clean limo here i can't even get far enough back to get the whole limo on the side so i guess we'll just walk around here all right it's got the 4.6 liter v8 like 190 horsepower 265 foot pounds of torque uh, what I was really surprised is how well the limo drives. Uh, we'll talk about that more when we get to driving it or whatever, but um, yeah, really goes down the road really, really smooth. So let's uh, zoom in here and we'll kind of look at any flaws or imperfections. So looking across the front here, the lights are in good condition. The car could use a buffing. It's got light scratches throughout and uh, some issues, but we'll kind of go over them. But overall, like I said, it's in good condition. A little scratch on the bumper there. Lights are nice. Bumper is pretty clean. Just showing some of the age on the paint. But this limo looks like it's pretty much spent its life inside, though. Um, doesn't have the telltale weathering signs that you see most of these have. Lights good. Grill is in really nice condition. Don't see any flaws on the grill. Again, the hood. So you can see the light scratches and swirl marks in it, but. A little uh, paint correction will take care of that. But you'll have to be careful though, because this is old. So got a little spot right here where the clear coat is kind of worn through. I kind of buffed on that little spot there. Uh, and then on the back edge of the hood, looks like the paint just kind of burned through from the sun a little bit. So some paint issues here, a little bit on the fender there. kind of burn through on the clear coat. That's on the hood, I guess that's probably clear coat failure too. So, I, you know, the paint's probably pretty good. Just clear coat is showing its age there. Uh, looking across the hood here, no hail. I don't even see any dings really. Pretty darn clean on the hood. All right, so we did put brand new tires on this and uh, I did spend the money to get a good tire not some cheap Chinese tire. This is a Toyo Extenza and uh, really highly rated tire. And it's also a heavy duty rated tire for the weight of the limo. I didn't uh, make sure that we got one with the right um, weight rating. Uh, forgive me there, I thought, I think it might be a C rated, class C. Uh, I should have looked that up. But uh, anyway, there was a couple options that went with a heavier class rating there. Uh, wheels are in good condition. You can see there on the left there where a little bit of a uh, clear coat failure from probably where a, a wheel weight was. Down the side here, you can see the moldings are showing some age on the moldings. Kind of just pan down the side of the limo, let you get a bird's eye view. But you can kind of see though that this car is really clean and really straight. I don't even see really any door dings. This thing is Pretty doggone nice. Like I said, the moldings do have wear all down the side there. I'll get a closer view of the other other ones. Looking underneath the car, good condition underneath. Just some surface rust, but very solid. All right, keep going down the side here. Mirror is in good condition. This car uh, will be on the Car Issues uh, TV show on Motor Trend. This is one of uh, Hoovy's garage <laughs> pickups. This is one of the 10 cars that I bought from him. So I don't even know what uh, was done with this limo yet. Uh, you know, may wanna, <laughs> I, 
should have waited to do the video until afterwards. There might be some incriminating evidence on there. I don't know. But uh, no, it'll be, it'll be fun. Looking at the door here, no real issues in the door. Now here's what's really, really amazing, is this top is in excellent condition. I'll try, it's got some lint and whatever. God probably needs a little bit of cleaning. Uh, but I'll kinda, kinda go in over the top with you real quick. Let's just go ahead and do the whole top. Let's just walk down the deal. The sunroof, uh, when you operate it, it just, you know, the gears kind of go, eh, so the sunroof is inoperative at this time. Uh, while I have this car, I'm going to continue to play with it and try to fix a few little things here and there. So if you're interested in the car, give us a holler. We can kind of update you on its current status, but uh, we'll let you know right now that the sunroof is in op at the moment. Let's just go ahead and do the whole top while we're doing it here. Go around to the other side. But it's just amazing how good this top is. Like I said, it's just got a little bit of lint on it. So it doesn't leak or anything. I mean, the sunroof is closed. You know, that's the way it looks with the uh, top, you know, because the sunroof glass is curved a little bit. So it kind of gives an optical illusion there, but there's no, no, no ceiling or fitment issues. It is closed. What's nice too, is something that you don't see from videos too, is the smell of a car. I mean, the smell of a car can really tell you a lot about the car. And I'm here to tell you this car smells brand new in the driver's compartment and in the passenger's compartment. So um, that's really, really nice because a lot of these limos can get wet or flooded or just, I don't know. I just, <laughs> it's kind of like an old RV, right? You know, they just, they get, they left outside and they get deteriorated and they can kind of get, get used and abused. A little scratch on the paint right there. But looking down the side, very good shape. Eh, you can even see my reflection here. So if you'll notice, I, <laughs> I'm going around with my socks because on this floor, my shoes squeak and somebody was complaining in a past video about squeaking while I was walking. So <laughs> I went ahead and pulled my shoes off. They're sitting over there. So rear door, there it is. Wow, the whole car, this whole body of this car is nice. Quarter panel is clean. I think I might even send this back and get a paint correction done on it just for the heck of it. <laughs> just because I like it so much. Okay, let's get another shot here. Underneath and back here. Pretty darn clean. That's amazing. That's fantastic. Looking across the deck lid. Very good condition. I'll go walk around here and pan around the deck lid while I'm walking. Very nice. I see the deck lid there. Oh, there it is. I knew there was one thing on the deck lid. I couldn't hardly find it, but. Let me get in the light here so I can kind of show you. I remember seeing one ding. Where are you at? Kind of hard to see, there you are. One ding on the deck lid right there. Easy PDR. But just wanted to show you everything. All right, looking at the lights here. The tail lights in excellent condition. See a little clear coat burning through on the bumper there. But overall, the bumper is very nice. You know, Paint, you know, there's just paint issues throughout the car, you know, paint flaws and everything. But for what it is, it's really, really good condition. Okay, I'm gonna pan back here and show you the back panel. No issues with the lights. The chrome's nice, could use a little bit of a cleaning and some detail, but looks nice otherwise. A little hickey on the corner of the bumper there. A little touch up there will make that nice. I might spend the money and go ahead and get this car detailed out and get it touched up. The more I look at the car, the more I like it. It's just in such good condition. And you can see right here where the clear coat had, and we buffed on those little spots a little bit where the clear coat had, but I still want to show it to you. I don't want to hide it from you. But there was some places where it was kind of chalky looking. And the wheel, right rear in excellent condition. And I kind of forgot the left rear wheel. Let me peek at it real quick. Left rear wheel. Very nice. Very nice. Dual power antennas. That's kind of cool. <laughs> I 
All right, let's take a big long view down the right side. Wow. I see a couple little teeny dings on the rear door. And I'll zoom in on those, but otherwise, really, really nice. Looking underneath again. I believe the wizard did just put a brand new fuel pump in this car. I think it uh, failed to start one time. A little scuff right there. Nope, not even a scuff. And then there's a couple door dings right here on this door. There you go, can see them pretty good. Um, actually, the paint's pretty smooth, so it would probably polish out in PDR if you wanted to really slick it up. All right, keep going down the side here. All the little opera lights and stuff are really, really nice and they work. Very cool. Looking at the door. A little, little paint imperfection there. Again, nothing a little buffing wouldn't do. Looking again down the side. Very good condition. Front wheel. Wow, just that first wheel I showed you had the oxidation with. Man, these wheels are nice. A little bit of spot there. Looking at the lights. All right, let's pop the hood and we'll take a look underneath here. One second. All right, popping the hood here real quick. And we got that 4.6 liter. What's great about this limo is, you know, this is built off the town car on that Plat Panther platform, which is really one Basically going down in history, it's probably the one of the most reliable and successful cars of all time, to be honest with you. Cop cars, taxi cabs. That's what's really nice about buying a limo based off of this chassis, better than like a Cadillac North Star or something like that. Uh, this one here, you can kind of trust. I mean, it, you know, and with only 40,000 miles on it, I mean, even though it's a limo, it's still got lots of life. And the hood pad there is clean. Go ahead and pop the trunk and I'll show you on the trunk. Got the little automatic pop here and it just popped and pops open. So in the trunk, we got the full size spare. It's got a system inside of it there. There's an amplifier, uh, external batteries. Not sure what that is. There's a little ice, <laughs> little ice thing there for the, and there's, I think that's a subwoofer right there. So, cool stuff inside. All right, now let's do this here. Let's go ahead and take a tour on the inside. This is where it gets fun, everybody. Okay. So this car interior, front and back, is just in super condition. Door panel's pretty much perfect. The leather upholstery. Excellent condition. There's not even any, hardly any wear on the bolster. A little bit of, teeny bit of color wear there. Looking at the factory carpets and floor mats, super nice condition. Got the armrest they fold up. So this thing will actually hold nine people. Uh, three in the front and six in the back. So we got, looks like the horn pad's got some color fading. I'm gonna have Dr. Vinyl uh, spray that and it'll look just like brand new. It's so nice, I wanna do that. Get the key out of my pocket. I'm going to shut the door so we don't get dinging. Okay, give you a little tour here around the inside. Go ahead and fire it up for you, let you hear it. So here's our gauges. No lights, no issues. 40,000 mile and eight miles. Uh, got our factory radio here. USPS.com. So we got here, let's try this here. I'm Cole Steve Isles. Ah, thought I'd get some Christmas music in there. Uh, I feel like Argyle in here. I should get a suit like Argyle. <laughs> Old movie fans will know what I'm talking about. Looking across here, door panel is in excellent condition. And again, passenger seat, pretty much flawless. Now come and check out up here. Here's all your control panel. Super cool. So you can kind of control everything. It's even got the, uh, like the intercom here. Hello, hello. <laughs> it works, you can actually hear it in the back.
cruise control. So, gives you kind of a good overview there. So here you can see, you, know, you can see all your how you control everything with the radio and the bar and the lights and all that good stuff. So you can kind of see what that all controls. All right, this is enough for the inside the driving compartment. What's fun is the back. Let's go, let's go to the back. That's where the where the party's at. Hit the unlocks here. Okay, so here we go. Entrevu. Door panels are in really, really good condition. It even has the original pillows. Leather is just. Oh, it just smells great in here too. Just kind of has a rich, mm, rich kind of leathery smell. Super cool. I got a little tissue box on the back there. There's the door panel. All right, I'm gonna slide in here. Okay, so you can kind of see this is really cool here. So you got your, like I can put my feet here. Hey, you hear the air ride compressor? Yep, so it got the leveling suspension there. And so each person can, Kind of have this for footrest, and the other person can use the other side. Check out the bar. Check this out. And here's what's super duper cool. All right, see, you got your all your premium beverages here on tap, and then I'll just go ahead and stow it away. <laughs> Champagne, anyone? Close that up. Got the original phone. So cool, little bar glasses. I love all the little, the mood lighting in here. It's pretty, pretty subtle. Um, but, uh, and then the headliner, again, you can look and see. We've got our little vanity mirrors there. Here's our controls at the back. So you got all your controls for your, oh, cool. Mood lighting and moonroof privacy panel. Check that out. Oh, prior to partition glass. There you go. We want privacy and back down. I keep it down because it creates a weird glare when you're driving. You can see the glare of the cars in front of you in the movie mirror. <laughs> so kind of odd. So here's our intercom. Take me home, James. Auto temperature control, fan, ventilation. Super cool. Look along the floor here. We got little, I haven't even looked in here. Oh, my God. oh cool. Little uh, cabinets here. Super cool. Nope, nothing back here. Very, very cool. What's this down here? Nope, I don't even know what that is. Minimum, maximum. Driver mode. Rear enhancer on. Hmm. Kind of hard to see. Oh, I'll do some more research, see what that is. Something with the uh, phone system, I'm guessing, from the looks of it. Here's the top of your deals. The wood, uh, you know, this is a, some sort of plastic, and it is showing some sun fading. Right on the top there, some sun fading. Same way over here. Cool little lights inside there to light your glass up. That is so cool, looks like that one's not working. Again, looking across there, we got a nice system back here. Very cool. And we got all three lights working there. I need to put some glasses in there just to let them sit there and glow. Super cool. <laughs> all right. Well, that is the tour of the wonderful. Oh, it's so comfortable. Let me close this door. Oh, yeah. I can totally, totally get used to this. So, uh, actually taking. The wife and her friends out tonight picking them up at dinner and gonna take them uh in the limo and take them to the casino just kind of have some fun we're gonna like i said we're gonna play with this and and uh and enjoy it while we have it and and keep tinkering with it but uh just love this that is so cool and it comes fully stocked shoot there's several hundred dollars worth of liquor in there i don't even know i don't drink so i don't know what any of that costs but Got a little light here. It looks like it slid out of place a little bit. Yeah, or, I mean, not a light, a little 
reflection glass there. Yep, and some dome lights, another little reflector. All right, well, I guess I'll play the, uh, the part of uh, the limo driver and we'll go take this for a drive. All right, we're strapped in the limo. I can take you guys for a trip. It, I'll take the specs off here so I can see what I'm doing. All right, let's take this limo for a ride and see how it drives. You know, it really surprised me. I thought that like I would, you know, kind of like hate driving this thing. I actually drove it home last night and uh, you know, it drives really nice. Uh, so some of the things we did to it here when we got it, I uh, went ahead and put like brand new tires on it like I showed you in the video, uh, but we also put on brand new shocks and uh, brand new tires and had an alignment done. Um, Wizard put in a new fuel pump. I think that's about it. Uh, this limo was in super duper condition uh, when we bought it, so there really wasn't much to do with it. But So let's just take it for a spin here. Uh, seats are comfortable, it rides fantastic. Um, and it's not so crazy long that it, uh, you know, that, you know, you feel like it's just overwhelming or, or you can't drive it around or park it or something like that. It really, uh, it really is great. So I think it must have a heavy duty fan clutch on it or something because you can kind of hear the fan clutch howl in there. Got my little, not quite a limo hat, but <laughs> I have to make do. Oh, this is fun. This is so cool. Uh, man, it's it's quiet. Uh, it just, like I said, it just dry, drives great. The brakes are excellent. Transmission, engine, uh, fires up every time. No, really, I mean, I'm taking it to Oklahoma tonight, so not like, uh, you know, no real concerns with it, or I wouldn't obviously take the wife and a whole bunch of people out of town in it, so... Uh, got a lot of confidence in it. Um, drove it back from the Wizards in Newton and, uh, you know, then uh, noticed it was pulling to the right. So that's why I took it to axle wheel alignment and they uh, did all their uh, work and everything on it and come back just fantastic. So we'll get it up here on the highway and there's really not even any uh, squeaks or rattles or anything like that. Just runs super nice, it really does. Get up on the highway just a little bit. And it has no problem accelerating. I mean, I don't know what this thing weighs, but I mean, it, it just drives. I feel like I'm really just driving a Lincoln Town car. I mean, it doesn't really feel much different. It has a little bit of a different oscillation with the super long wheelbase, which actually helps the ride quality. Um, but it does have a limo only shock. So the shocks are a little stiffer, but I've got those nice big 225-70 tires on it. So uh, it does a really good job of soaking up, uh, you know, adding some suspension to the car. Horn works, got the radio up front. It's Christmas time. And Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Speaking of Christmas movies, one that's really under the radar, if you've never seen it, uh, is called The Ref. If you want a cynical uh, family drama, hilarious Christmas movie, trust me, go find The Ref. If you haven't seen The Ref, gotta watch it. You, you will absolutely love it. Dennis Leary, Kevin Spacey, lots of good stars in it. it is, it's a good one. And then of course, you know, Christmas Vacation given two or three times a year um you know everything works climate control cruise control um like i said this thing is just in really really nice shape uh it's fun i'm kind of we're going to put it on our website for sale um but i'm going to kind of hope that it doesn't sell too fast because <laughs> we you know actually um hoobie has a uh a premiere party uh, for his car issues uh, this Thursday, so um, gonna go over to uh, Hoobie's house and watch a uh, watch uh, celebrate and watch uh, the car issues show with him. And uh, so I'm actually gonna use the limo and pick up some friends, and we're gonna actually show up to the party in the limo. Why not? Right? It's a gala limo. Yeah, you got one. Use it. <laughs> you know, I told all my friends too. I'm like, hey, if you ever wanna play with it or take the wife out or do something fun just give me a holler it's kind of like 
uh, friendship community limo. So keep cruising. And there's really, uh, you know, running around in this thing, there's just not, uh, it's hard to believe it's a 1996 car and there's just really no issues to note other than just some cosmetic stuff. But, but like I said, it, uh, it runs, it runs fantastic. Well, I tell you, I appreciate you guys rolling along. I hope you enjoyed the tour of this limo. And uh, check us out, EuroAsianAuto.com. Uh, look us up on Facebook and Instagram, EuroAsianAuto. Uh, like and subscribe. I uh, really appreciate that. Uh, be sure to leave a comment and, uh, and then hit that uh, bell notification. So uh, when we get new cars posted, you'll get uh, notified right away. And you never know, we may have your next dream car. Have a great day and happy motoring. Bye, man.